Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia Dean and today we're here with Hannah. Hannah is just 13 years of age and trains at the dance company in Brisbane. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on attitude turns and I'm going to be passing you on all of my favorite tips for these particular turns. So Hannah, let's get straight into it. And also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you enjoy these types of videos because I have so many more for you. Before we get started on the tips, I just wanna also say that the preparation before you go into these attitude turns is really important. So I'd really recommend if you can actually watch my tutorial on turns in second, because I demonstrate that on Zoe on how to prepare correctly from fourth into turns in second, attitude, arabesque. So I'd really recommend you watch that prior to trying all of these tips. Tip number one. Now Hannah, our first tip, if you can just go into your fourth position like you would when you take off for an attitude turn. So we go there, that's it. Now, this is to do with basically the feeling that you have when you're up into your attitude turn. So I find naturally when we think of attitude turn, without even realizing it with most dancers they release their pelvis a fair bit so when you go into it this usually happens can you try and do an attitude turn for me and think about doing an onda don pirouette in retire but you're not going to do an onda don pirouette in retire you're actually going to release your leg in attitude but that's just the feeling that i want you to have in your head because i know that when you do an onda don turn in retire we always keep our pelvis so, so held here so I want you to try and have that same feeling for an attitude turn. So just give it a go, just a single's fine. That's it, so that time your pelvis was really held which looked perfect. Tip number two. Now Hannah, just go to your preparation position. I'm just gonna talk about where your hips need to be because this is crucial. So if your hips aren't over the top of your supporting leg when you releve up, or even if halfway through the turn, if they shift off, obviously you're gonna fall. So what I want you to try and do, when you're turning around, I want you to make sure that both hips, including the left one, they're completely over your right big toe and they're gonna stay there the whole time when you're turning. So can you just do a releve for me? So don't worry about the turn yet. Just do a releve with the one, two, everything up on three and keep over that right leg. Go, one, two, three. Very good. Tip number three. Now Hannah, we're just gonna talk about how your legs should be in attitude, the shape and the height, all of that to make sure you do a perfect turn. So if you just face that diagonal for me and you're just gonna lift your left leg up into attitude. Now, what I want you to do to make sure that basically your attitude's not too long. So you know when you do an attitude position, let's just say if you do a PK into attitude, you might do a long attitude this way. Now what I want you to do for your turns is actually shorten it a little bit because the more compact you are for your turns, the better. Okay, now the next thing I want you to remember too is that your knee here has to be at 90 degrees. Okay, so when you turn, it can't be a centimetre higher or a centimetre lower, it has to be at 90 to do the best turn possible. So just relax for a minute. So if your leg is slightly below 90, that's when you find your get dragged backwards. If it's above, you could actually be dragged forwards. So you're gonna try and keep it flat at that height. Tip number four. Now Hannah, if you can face on the diagonal again for me and just lift the arms up to fifth and also the leg into attitude. Now for this tip, it's basically just making sure that the left side of your body here and your left knee are actually trying to feel almost like they're separating from one another. So you're almost pressing them against one another. Um, and just relax for a second. The reason why I say this is otherwise, I find that dancers generally, they leave their left side backwards, so they almost lean towards the leg, which can obviously throw the turn. So I just want you to make sure your left side and the left knee, they're almost going in like oppositions that way. Okay, so just try a turn thinking of that. Better, that's good. See how that left side really came around? Really good. Tip number five. Now Hannah, with this tip, 
basically I want you to still try and implement tip number four at the same time while doing this. So if you go to your preparation for me, tip number five, we're focusing on this left side, chasing the right side when you're turning around. This really just works the force to make sure that you have maximum momentum when you're going around in your attitude turns. So you're gonna try and do four and five together. So just try a turn thinking of that. Go! Oh, that was good. Do you wanna try double now? Try the same thing, so chase the left side round. Go! Beautiful! Tip number seven. If you just go to your starting position again, Hannah, now this tip I find is really good for attitude turns because for some reason, it must be because when our legs lifted, naturally our chest goes a little bit further forward. So what I want you to do when you're turning, if you can actually get a sense of the chest lifting up towards the ceiling. So you're really trying to feel that up rather than it collapsing forward when you're turning and when you're preparing. So just try a turn thinking of that. So chest bone up. Up! Whoa, that was good. Tip number eight. This one here is more of an exercise more than anything because I feel like that when you do this, you can really check your alignment in the mirror. So this is really important to practice and I'll show you exactly what it is now. Now Hannah, as you can see, there's the mirrors, all right? So I actually want you to face this way for a second and go to your preparation position. So here and just go a little bit more quasi. That's it. Now you're gonna do your normal preparation except I want you to turn slightly around, do a quarter turn, and you're actually gonna face the mirrors. And this is a good way for you to check your alignment. So you can go and one, and you can adjust anything. If you find you're falling one side, then you obviously know you have to do more to your left or more to the right. Okay, so just give that a go. And one. That's it, okay, so in that case, you're falling a little bit this way, so try it again and just square up and bring around your left side slightly more. Go one more time. Good. So this is a really good exercise for you to practice because you can really see where you're falling and where you're not falling, okay? So just keep going over that for me too. Now, we're going to get Hannah to demonstrate all of those corrections in action so you can see it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today, dancers. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I have so many more videos coming for you very soon. And lots of love. Love heart. <laughs> oh my God, we did it. <laughs>